evening, Simon here, Explosive Action with an Explosive Metal update. Part 2 of my update for August, even though we're in September. So if you missed part 1, that was all movies, and that was uh, a day or so ago. And this is part 2, it's all music, so mix of cassettes and vinyl, it's all analogue, there's no CDs in this one. So let's get going. The first tape we've got here... Australian band South Coast actually this is Forest Mysticism uh, with Harkin one man band from um, D from uh, Woods of Desolation he's best known for that's a more straight ahead black metal kind of got some Graveland kind of vibes but it's mainly more straight ahead black metal whereas uh, this one from D as well his other band Remet is more atmospheric black metal, and that is particularly excellent. And uh, what I'm really enjoying too, a lot of bands are doing this now with the tapes. They're putting a lot of really nice art on the uh, cassette shell as well. Uh, this one's through uh, which is Sabbath. Not sure how many copies these were limited to. Go check their band camp out. Highly recommended. This one, this is another Australian band, uh, Beria, and uh, it was limited to 30 copies. Not entirely sure whereabouts in Australia this guy is. Very handmade, very, very hand dubbed. You can see there the uh, drawn on with the uh, white texture and comes with a sticker. Um, this is some incredibly raw black metal. Um, so much so that uh, I'm going to, have to put that one back in after. I? So much so that the um, the tape is uh, probably not the best quality. In fact, my one only comes out the left channel, which was slightly annoying. But uh, hey, raw black metal, limited to thirty copies, and already sold out. Sold out the same evening that it was released. This one is uh, Akasha with Canticles of the Sepulchral. Deity. This is really good. I missed the LP. Uh, hopefully I'll snag it one day, but tape is really good. Uh, US black metal band, and um, I don't want to say that they're raw black metal. They're straight ahead black metal, but the guitar tone is really piercing like a raw band does so well. Um, really nice tape, full-length album, both sides. Um, you can still get this one. Analog Worship have still got copies of this. That's one distro that's still got them, but I would not sit on it for too long. And it does come recommended. This one is cool as well. Oculus Vacui. And the album is called uh, Alka, Alkahest, I think is what it was uh, described as. Alkahest. And uh, I do not recall where these guys are from. It's a two piece from memory. Really, really nice um, atmospheric black metal. It's really good stuff. Um, this is limited to 70 copies. I think I got number 37. Still get copies out there. Um, there was one distro at least. I think it was Dawn Breed Records themselves still have copies. The LP came out through Goto YRX and sold out instantly. So um, good luck ever getting that. But uh, tape is good and comes with a high recommendation. Moon Labyrinth. This is cool. Uh, I think this is... Are they from the States as well? Cannot recall. Oh, this is a split uh, Australian and US member band. Another really cool uh, print on the uh, the cassette there. This is pretty raw, but it's got a vampiric edge. So, like, it slows down to, you know, the... Style drumming. I think that was a good impression of the drumming. You know what those bands sometimes have, uh, sound like when it comes to their drumming. Um, so it goes from blast to that kind of beat, and um, is generally pretty fast, raw vocals, but has that sound that makes it makes you think of old castles and things like that, just like they're pictured there. So a bit of evil feast kind of vibes. It's good stuff. Um, more Australian band. This is Pestilential Shadows. Uh, repress of their first album, Embrace After Death. Uh, Seance Records put this out, 50 copies, promptly sold out. Um, you might be able to find it in the second market if you can, uh, but there'll be CDs and things as well. Uh, Pestilential Shadows, I can't recall if they're still around or not, but um, at least at this stage, that was sort of a side project, mid-2000s of Nazul and... Um, 
are, uh, Drowning the Light um, members. So again, Sydney, uh, black metal, um, pretty much straight ahead black metal, unlike um, Nazul, more like Drowning the Light really. Um, really good stuff, nice reissue from Seance there. And uh, Prosanctus Inferi, Pulpit Syncophants, their demo um, of upcoming material. Uh, Nuclear War Now. These guys have not done anything in about eight years. Their last album was really good. And um, yeah, this is a demo of what's to come. So it's really, uh, if, if someone was going to say, what, you, well, you got death metal, you got black metal. What is this black death style I'm hearing? I would say this because it is exactly half black metal and half death metal. It is black death. It is really heavy, but also has the vocals of a more traditional black metal band and uh, the uh, aesthetics and such but um, big, thick sound as well, so it's a big mix of things. Uh, really good demo. Uh, looking forward to the full length whenever it does come. And last in the tapes is Blood Soaked, Necrovoid, and Ratlord. What a great name, Ratlord. Um, Blood Soaked, Necrovoid from Costa Rica, and Ratlord from Germany, both playing, um, well, Blood Soaked are playing more Death Doom, um, that is sort of mid-paced and really like cavernous. I don't like saying that, but it is quite cavernous. And Rat Lord, a bit more straight ahead, um, dark, dirty German style death metal um, comes recommended. So that's the split: Blood Soaked Necrovoid and Rat Lord. And onto the records, the LPs, the vinyl, the first two seven inches. This is the was it ninety nine? I think. Repress of Merciless's demo behind the black door. I think it's about that age. Um, yeah, 1987 demo. Pressed on 7-inch. Pretty hard to find. Um, actually, not bad sound for a demo from 87 that's been pressed on the 7-inch. Um, yeah, I was lucky to find this one. And, uh, yeah, it's good fun. Um, it sounds a bit like how you're looking in that photo there. Just sort of... A little bit amateurish, but showing what was to come with Merciless um, prior to signing to um, uh, Death Like Silence. So, um, yeah, this is some, some historical Merciless right there. Really good stuff. And the other 7-inch. This is a brand new issue of Vomitor, Australian band's first uh, EP. Neutron Hammer. What a great cover. Um, Black Thrash for fans of um, Destroyer 666 and such. Vomitor are really great, and they're really fun live. I saw them two months ago. Um, yeah, just just a, a fun live act. Fast, ripping stuff, bullet belts, all the usual. So, yeah, Neutron Hammer, 7-inch um, on Invictus uh, reissue. Highly recommended. On to the full lengths. New one from Vulture. Awesome cover on this one. I think they're US band. I think. So, um, yeah, these guys play uh, sort of mid-80s sounding thrash, but not Bay Area, more German-leaning, I suppose, um, but with Exodus bits as well. So um, they're really, really good, uh, really solid stuff. Highly, um, highly impressed with this album, which is called... Ghastly Waves and Battered Graves. What a great name. At least check out uh, Beyond the Blade. You can find it on YouTube. Got the old Metal Blade logo there in the corner. So um, yeah, you should know what you're getting into with this. Proper 80s worship, but um, really done well. Not, not so much retro thrash. It's just solid thrash metal. Um, bit of speed metal as well. So yeah, check it out. Vulture. Good stuff. New EP from Lucifer. This one's on Dark Descent Records. Um, their last album, Sun Eater, blew me away. And that was a few years ago now. About five years ago, I think. Uh, this is the new EP, um, uh, Sacrament. And um, sort of picks up where Sun Eater left off. Real dark, evil, fast death metal, um, no holds barred stuff. Yeah, I think you should all check this one out. Um, Lucifer, uh, 
particularly special band, know what they're doing. Um, just they don't leave anyone behind. It's 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 seriously good stuff. Lucifer, Sacrament, um, quite quite evil. Check it out. Everybody's new darlings. Two mold with planetary clairvoyance. Um, awesome cover on this one. Some twenty bucks spin. I think I've got the blue variant. I don't really care. Colors don't bother me too much. Um, what I do like is that uh, I can pick things up like this Vulture Lucifer from local record stores in Sydney. Um, that's just amazing to me these days. May not be amazing to those in the US or UK. I don't know what your scene's like there, but I usually have to mail order everything. But just being able to walk into a shop and pick up two mold is ridiculous. Um, I think that's amazing. But anyway, um, I've only had one go through so far. It sounds good. Uh, didn't grab me immediately as much as their previous album, um, but as I said, only one go through so far. Uh, Planetary Clairvoyance um, from Two Mold. Good stuff. This one did grab me immediately. This is the new one from Cerebral Rot. Odious Descent into Decay. Also on 20 bucks in, uh, 20 bucks spin. Um, this is a great example of death metal. Just pure, nasty, sounds exactly like this cover, death metal. There's no frills. It's, it's barely cracks mid-pace. Occasionally there's some blasty stuff, but it barely cracks mid-pace, and it's just heavy as a ton of bricks and being slimy at the same time. Uh, their 7-inch was really good, but this album knocks it out of the park. Definitely check this one out. Odious Descent into Decay. New Zealand. Diocletian. Did not know they were releasing this, and then bang, they did. Saw these guys as well a, a couple of months ago. Um, their live sound was a bit flawed. Um, the mix was not great. And you need good mix when you are playing barbaric war metal like these guys do. Quite blitz speed and uh, becomes hard to to really uh, ascertain what's going on when the mix is not great in a live setting. But it was still furious and fast, and we had beer, so that's all good. But um, yeah, this album is clear as day, but still being furious. Amongst the flames of a burning god. Burning with a V, like Lucifer do. Recommended stuff. Only had one go through as well on this, but um, I think it's going to be pretty good stuff. Fans of Angel Corpse mixed with Blasphemy, I suppose, and you get some Diocletian. Good stuff. Um, this one from Caress. Finish Black Metal, Ice, Vapor, Crooked Arrows. Really good. The guitar on this, I had to turn the treble down on my amp. It was just glass-shattering stuff. Really good uh, icy Black Metal. Um, Finland has their sound and that's definitely what you get with this one um, and uh, what I didn't realize with this band is they've been around for ages they've got a track load of uh, not so many albums there's a few but then there's a bunch of EPs and splits as caress been around for ages so I need to look more into their works this is their latest one only been out a couple of weeks hopefully there's still copies around um, ice vapor crooked arrows check it out um, split between insanity cult and void omnia really really good stuff i think insanity cult are from greece i think void omnia not entirely sure where they're from um, this is on vendetta who always put out good stuff seem to have done all of void omnia's work big fan of them i've got everything from that band so far Insanity Cult was new to me on this, so um, Black Metal, obviously, by the logos, you can tell both bands similar enough in style, but they are a bit different. Um, a nice split, definitely worth checking it out, um, and if you like what you see, check out their full lengths, um, particularly Void Omnia, recommend that band. I got three LPs from Cenotaph, with an E, a French Black Metal um Atmospheric, but also quite furious. It's a bit like Fortress. That's the sort of benchmark I've put for these guys, and uh, they're really good. This is their pressing of their demo. Um, and watch me butcher this. La, 
la lave exalte. Sure, there you go. That's the uh, demo. The first album, I think, Horizons. And the new album, which is Empire. Where is it? Empire. So, yeah, I think they are French and um, they're really, really quality, good stuff. Cenotaph with an E on the end. So, um, yeah, definitely check these guys out. The uh, records should all still be in press at all the usual places Iron Bonehead, NWN. Uh, Merchant of Death all seem to have copies at the moment. Sargeist with Unbound. This is some ripping, ripping black metal in that. Uh, sort of mid-era Marduk style, quite furious, good tone. Um, my copy came a little warped, which was slightly sad, but my um, my cartridge uh, tracks it like a beast, so whatever. Uh, it's fine. Um, really, really recommended this. Really fast, never lets down. A bit like Cereal in a way, it's just, yep, yeah, Sargeist, definitely definitely a good band um quite a few albums as well um yeah definitely check these guys out this is a gatefold for those that care and uh yeah fast and furious black metal this isn't a nice one um i threw this in with an order uh because it was reduced down to like seven euro which i thought was insane it's a band called norns n-o-r-n-s in Fog They Appear, uh, mini LP, so it's just uh, the three tracks. Really good quality black metal, this. Um, straight ahead stuff, but I was very impressed. So, um, yeah, not much more to say about that, but definitely check them out. Norns, N-O-R-N-S, and there's a couple of albums and then this EP, I think, was 2005? So it is going back in time, but it's a new reissue. Um, good stuff. Really good stuff here. Um, many people have talked about it. This is the band False with their album Portent. Awesome artwork. It's the guy that does the Bell Witch covers. Really, really cool stuff. Um, very interesting US black metal band. Quite, um, I don't even know how to really describe them. They're pretty unique in their sound. Um, yeah, I don't know where to go with that, honestly. You just need to check them out, false portent. It's not raw, it's quite rolling, quite organic and lush. But um, it's also female fronted, which is interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely uh, check this one out, false portent. And along with that, on the same label, this is Gilead Media. Uh, the new one from Yellow Eyes, that's their logo up there. And uh, what is the name of this album? I cannot even remember. Rare Field Ceiling um, and is similar enough to False, but it's pretty uh, unique in its own right. I think, I think that Gilead Media just know what to sign to their label. Um, these guys have done a few albums, about four or five at this point. First one of theirs that I've got, the latest one here. And um, again, I can use those words like lush and organic because that's a good description for this kind of black metal. A bit bursamy. Um, but really it's its own thing. And every now and then it stops and goes into, um, uh, I'm not even sure what country, I'm going to say Spanish guitar, but that's wrong because I don't mean that. But I'm not entirely sure what the instrument is. It's just not electric, not distorted, weird guitar. Very poor description on my part, but anyway. Um, yeah, yellow eyes, rare field, ceiling. I am saying that right, and I'm not rare field ceiling. Yes, I am. Three times, and I got it right. Yellow Eyes, definitely check it out. Really cool cover on that, too. Uh, another one from Akasha. Um, this was their EP. Um, it might just be a one-man band, actually, US Black Metal. Um, I got wind that this was being released, and then it hit Bandcamp. Um, and as I was deciding, eh, do I want to grab it? The shipping's a bit high. I was just watching the copies dwindle down. It was limited to 100, I got 61. And by the time I ordered it, it was down to 5, and then when I refreshed, it was 0. So, yeah, this all went, um, which is a shame if you want to get it. I think there's tapes still around. The um, Like I mentioned before, it's a really good 
fast uh, black metal with a sort of sharp guitar sound, really um, rough, dry vocals, highly, uh, highly enjoyable. And the cover track on the end here is Last Caress from the Misfits, which surprisingly works. It's obviously like a black metal version of a Misfits cover, but um, it totally works. Um, yeah, if you can get this on some format, then I recommend it. Um, Akasha Consuming the Soul. Um, good stuff. And the uh, LP, it's a 45. Plays well. Um, this is, I think we're heading into the second-hand ones now. Grave Desecrator, their first album, Sign of Doom. Um, I bought a second-hand, but it was brand new. Hadn't been played on Blood Harvest. Um, not super easy to find this one now. Um, but a local seller had three LPs, I think I've got them in order here, that I wanted to get. Um, and uh, I really like uh, Grave Desecrator. Their album Insult is uh, excellent, one of my favourites. I think they're Brazilian, pretty sure they're Brazilian. They play that um, Brazilian style of uh, death metal, death black metal, that um, the country is so well known for. Um Valak the Necro Goat. How amazing are these names? Adramelech, Black Sin and Damnation, and Butcher Razor. That's outstanding. Grave Desecrator, Sign of Doom. Um, really good, yeah, as I said. Um, I think Insult is still my favourite, and I haven't heard... Ah, uh, I can't remember, but their latest album I haven't heard yet. Need to get on top of that, actually. One of my absolute favourite albums of all time, Impaled, Mondo Medical. I bought the CD when it came out in 2001, I think. Had it ever since, play it super frequently. Um, never thought I'd get the LP. How amazing is that cover? But as I said, Local Seller um, had it and The Grave Desecrator and another one which is not in order in my stack, but anyway... Um, from it's like a trilogy of defunct labels death vomit who were a subsidiary of necropolis who are gone and uh evil morgue is also gone so that's yep that's gone impaled is still a thing but you can't get this album new anymore on any format as far as i'm aware hasn't had no reissue which is a real shame because it's uh i'd say in my top 20 albums of all time uh if you like sort of symphonies to necroticism era carcass and exhumed which members uh share in this uh band as well at least at this point i think there was a shared member or two uh then you need to check this one out it's, it's pretty melodic but also death grind really good stuff medical themed obviously and some real funny little bits of the the band members acting as doctors and doing little skits uh, this is Red LP I was very lucky to get, and I'm very happy to have that on LP now as well. Uh, reissue, Flames, Summon the Dead. This is awesome. Uh, Greek Thrash on Floga Records. Came out originally in 1987. Um, if you like your more evil thrash like the Germans do, then check out Flames, because that's what they were definitely inspired by. Somewhere between... Portuguese thrash and German thrash, and they ended up with flames in Greece with Kill for Mummy and Alcoholic and Beer. Ha <laughs> ha! Ballad of a Skin Beating Maniac. That's outstanding. Fantastic cover on it. Um, it's just good fun mid 80s thrash and uh, comes recommended. The follow up album as well seemed quite good. I haven't picked that one up yet. Bestial, Warlust, Vengeance, War, Till Death, the band that was around before Destroyer Triple Six, sharing members. Um, yeah, this is um, very furious death black metal, basically war metal. Um, they're actually playing a, a reunion show in Melbourne that are selling tickets right now, and the show is not for a year. It would be nice to go to that. I am in the wrong state. I know, do know people that are going to make the trek, and there are people internationally that are coming. It's a pretty big deal, actually. Uh, Beastie Warlust doing a single show only in Melbourne. Um, great album. It's always been a great album. I had the CD once and do not know what happened to it. There's a follow-up album as well 
which I would like to get. Um, and then as far as I know, they disbanded and Destroyer 666 happened. Um, pretty sure that's the timeline. Uh, yeah, so Vengeance War Till Death uh, recommended fans of Black Death Metal and Aussie music. Moonblood, the Taste Out German Steel reissue. This is good black metal on Iron Brown Head. It's been a very black metal themed update, hasn't it? Must be winter, does it to me, even though we're now in spring. Oh, the shame. Um, yeah, good stuff. It's got a bit of a pagan vibe to it. Um, and lots of clashing of swords and things. Uh, I really dig it. Um, I bought their other album, I think it was in uh, my last update, which was two uh, albums reissued as one big, rather affordable um, uh, digibook. Digibook? Oh, it's not a bloody DVD. Um, gatefold. There you go. That's the word I'm after. And uh, yeah, this one's just as good and is a newer uh, album compared to those. So yep. Pretty sure they are German because it does say taste out German steel. Down to the used ones now. Um, this one, <laughs> this one and the next one are salvaged from my mother's collection. My mum, the metalhead, she's about 74 and uh, she likes she likes a heavy metal. She likes mainly glam like Poison and stuff and she likes old Bon Jovi and Europe and bands like that, which is not my cup of tea. But we cross over every now and then. And also when she decides that something's a little bit too heavy for her, a bit too thrashy and less, you know, soaring vocals, then it ends up my way. And that's what happened with Chastain, ruler of the wasteland, 80s speed metal, uh, female fronted as well, or well, speed slash heavy metal. It's just solid, good, good all around metal, basically. Um, I really dug it. It's on Roadrunner. And uh, yeah, salvaged from my mum's collection. How many people can say they got metal LPs like this from their 74-year-old mother's collection? Along with Riot Thunder Steel. Look at that tank. This is really good stuff. I think this is a... Oh, it's definitely 80s. 88. Back. This is hilarious. Back when metal was big, you had labels like CBS. CBS releasing stuff like this. That was the power of metal at the time. Riot, Thunder Steel, um, somewhere between fast-paced heavy metal and speed metal, this particular album is. I know Riot were around since the 70s, and I don't know too much of their work. Uh, but this one's good. It's, as I said, it's sort of fast heavy metal that sometimes goes speed metal. Lots of rolling double kicks and, yep, just fun times. Good riffs um, and a nice, uh, nice quality LP. Good sound on that too. Um, this one I found in the wild, quite rare. Ancient Rites, the Diabolic Serenades. Uh, interesting uh, sort of mid-paced black metal that sort of reminds me of... Uh, uh, nope, I've lost the name. There was a particular name I was thinking of and I cannot recall it. Anyway, it's getting late and I'm getting tired. Ancient Rites, uh, Diabolic Serenades. Where are these guys from? Is it like Belgium? Yes, it is. It's from Belgium. They are a Belgium band. And uh, this is the first press, I believe. Um, cannot make out that logo, but uh, there you go. Was it Midian Creations? Anyhow. Um, solid stuff for a 90s black metal sound. That's uh, not ripping. It's sort of mid-paced. Bit of doom element sometimes. The drums got a real, not processed, but a real punchy sound for what you'd think uh, you should get. So, yeah, definitely check this one out. Good stuff. Um, great fun. Awesome cover art, this one. Abomination. <laughs> I love that art. I've always been after this one. And another one on Nuclear Blast. Um Original press, the German nuclear blast, not the American. It's got a few distribution stickers I can't get rid of. Uh, this was the third one I got with um, uh, Impaled and Grave Desecrator in one bundle order. And uh, it's really good stuff. So tight thrash uh, of the era and a um, bit of a nuclear assault vibe to it. 
So if you like that kind of thing, yeah, check out Abomination. Amazing cover. Just so many colours on it. Um, more quality thrash. Quite f not really spoken about Death Row, Raging Steel on Noise Records, German label. Um, I love it when you pick up old stuff and it says made in West Germany. It always fills me with joy. Um, these guys are really good. The first three albums are really, really good. Not too familiar with the stuff after that, but this is a prime example of um, mid-late 80s thrash. If you've not heard it, Death Row, Raging Steel. Um, Andrew Ballina, I think this is something that would be up your alley, along with that Abomination. Check out, if anything, Abomination and this Death Row. I think they'd be uh, to your ears, to your liking. Good stuff, first press. Getting down to the end. This one, I was stoked. I went into Utopia Records in Sydney, just looking around, and they got in this pressing of Death Leprosy um, on Combat and Under One Flag. So this is the first UK pressing uh, under license from Combat. And uh, quality is excellent, of course, and it's one of my favourite albums. And they, for, for the era and the... Uh, I won't say rarity because there would have been a truckload of these things made, but for the age, the price I paid was really good. So I was happy with that. And the um, condition is uh, excellent, if not near mint. So really happy to get Death Leprosy on original vinyl with that awesome Ed Repka cover. And the last, the last LP is not metal at all. It's almost my troll. Deadly Prey, the soundtrack. Got to tie it back to the movie somewhere. I am explosive action after all. I couldn't believe this existed. When I heard about it, I jumped on it. Um, came out a couple of years ago. I found it on Amazon Australia. And the Amazon Australia warehouse had stock. And I got it the next day. <laughs> that just made me laugh, the sequence of events. But then I stopped laughing when it showed up in a box as big as that entire pile of LPs. And it just had this one floating in it. And of course, it broke the bloody thing. There is a big chip to the side. Insert photo here. And you can see where Australia Post really dropped the ball or dropped the record, so to say. So I got a full refund and they, they wouldn't send me another copy because they didn't have one. So I got a refund, but it was pretty upsetting. Um, but when it comes down to it, it's kind of a novelty that I bought this. The song that it is chipped and broken on is a 80s love ballad I have no interest in actually listening to. Um, I got it for more the incidental music like um, Danton's theme. You know, da -na -na, da -na, da -na -na. It's just amazing. And having Ted Pryor's name on the back of an, a record. Anyway, I thought it was funny. Um, I'm happy to have it, even though it's, you know, broken at the first... 10, 20 seconds of the first uh, track. Big nasty chip in it. It comes on military green vinyl too. Toxic Toast Records if you want to get a copy. Hopefully not broken. Anyway, that is the music update. Um, thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like I said at the beginning, if you want to see the movie update, then you need to go one video back. This one was all for the music. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.